It's a small creature with a big problem. The tinker frog is a dying breed, with two of its six species already wiped out by a fungus. But now a breeding program on the Gold Coast is giving the tiny tinker a fighting chance. Elise Worthington reports. It may not be the most impressive looking creature, but it's not hard to hear where the tinker frog gets its name. It's like hitting a glass with a spoon. So it's sort of like tink, 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 tink. The miniature amphibians are at risk of dying out, but with careful monitoring, a new program on the Gold Coast has produced a record number of tadpoles. And there are only four species that are still remaining. So it's very important that we learn how to breed these animals in captivity so that we can save species from extinction. But the breeding program hasn't been without challenges. In the wild, the tiny tinker lays her white eggs deep underground so they don't get sunburnt. And we made a little bit of a mistake where some eggs got some sunlight and, and they were killed uh, almost immediately. But this year, there's been success. Uh, we could be looking at up to 400 frogs at the moment, so a lot of frogs. <laughs> One of the reasons the tinker frog and other frog populations around the world are declining is because of a skin disease called the chytrid fungus. It leads to heart failure and has already wiped out two species of the tinker frog. It's spread around the country extremely quickly and we don't know how. So to try to control something that is basically everywhere is extremely difficult. A big problem scientists are hoping these tiny eggs could help crack. Elise Worthington, ABC News, Gold Coast.